Anyone in particular? Yeah, I, I, I watched Rise of Time, I watched a lot of them, I watched Harley, I watched Holmes, I watched Leslie Hammond, so I watched a lot of good fighters throughout the years. I thought to myself, while I was watching some of these middleweights and welterweights and things do stuff, I'd, I'd try and copy, go outside, get in there and try and do exactly what they did. And I suppose that's probably where I got some of the movement from, from watching the lightweight fighters and trying to copy them over the years. Because it's very rare that you get someone so big who can move so quick and quite agile on his feet and get out of the way of stuff. And I, and I put it down. I, I put it down to. There was a couple of times in the world of fight where I put my hands behind my back and I was just moving out of the way and he was throwing punches all over the shop, not landing them. And even against Tom Jones and me, the same thing. But I, put it, I put it down to. I put, I put it down to the fact that I watched The Matrix quite a lot when I was a kid. Of all the opponents that you've faced off with, who is the one that stands out to you the most? Like, was there one that you found to be fun to have that like, sort of verbal sparring with? I've only ever met one person in boxing that can keep up with me when we're on stage. And even then he doesn't, doesn't really keep up. And that is wilder. Yeah. And, you know, I've boxed many times all over the world and to get a dance partner will actually shout back and have, have some fun on the stage and give the fans something what they want to see. It's very rare because a lot of these fighters